Pueblo's volunteer appreciation party for the 2009 election campaign was full of energy and happy volunteers. They were pleased that all the candidates and issues endorsed by Pueblo won, proving to them that working people in Santa Barbara have a powerful voice when they work together as a team. Although it was a, a small election, I think uh, we need to treat every election as any other election. We had to be build power, we had to continue to uh, create leadership among the people that work with the organization Pueblo. Uh, it's about how we can continue this momentum that the organization has created through the years in every election been part of Pueblo for several years uh, through the and through the years I, I have realized that uh, election day as I learned it the first time is the most important day and you know all the whole election it's important so this time I participated as a part-time uh, organizer but uh, it's just because I, I believe the uh, working for no for just so social justice is important all the time uh, and that's why I, I like to do my part so uh, some of the people can do their part too Oh, this past election was very, very important for all of us uh, in the Latino community, especially, um, being that uh, we need a person who represents all of us. Uh, and uh, I see that Helena Schneider have um, good um, rapport with uh, with Pueblo and also with the rest of the community in general. So uh, that's why I walk the prisons to help her get to be a mayor, alcaldesa, and also Grand House, which um, uh, is another gentleman who has been very uh, involved also uh, in the Latino community, and um, I truly believe that he's really trying to make it better for, for us here. My name is Greg, I'm a volunteer with Pueblo, and uh, I worked on the election this year um, in large part because I think these elections were seeing a lot of influence from outside the community, and this is um, a community election, a community issue, and so it was really important to keep uh, to keep it in the community and part of that effort was getting young people and you know working Latino families out to vote So that's why I helped out this year Despite a $700,000 contribution to the Yes on B campaign by a developer from Texas Measure B was defeated by a margin of 2,000 votes. It maintains the current building height limit of 60 feet downtown which allows for the inclusion of affordable housing and assures the smooth continuation of the expansion of our city's only hospital. Pueblo continues its work year-round developing strong partnerships with elected officials and challenging decisions which negatively affect working families. I'm committed to doing political activism because I believe that we can always make the world we live in a better place and I've just learned through years of being involved um, again and again that if you if you think of something that needs to get better and you come up with a plan to do it and you work hard that you can you can make it happen so I, I think that that's really rewarding um, and um, I think that there's a lot of work left to be done and there's a lot of things that we can still accomplish and so um, I plan to con continue being being an activist because I love making change and I love meeting other people who, who want to do the same thing.